Hello! You are looking at my kitchen. And there's a very good reason for this, because this is a video about a new, well, I suppose you could call it a gadget, really, that's hopefully going to be going in, I imagine, this corner cupboard, uh, just in here. And it is a water softener. I live in a hard water area in the UK, and what that generally means is you get uh, scale in the kettle, and actually, if you have a look around here, there's sort of damage around the front of the kettle here as well. Which is, which is from the, the chemicals in the water, really. Uh, you get sort of scummy marks on your taps and on shower doors and all this kind of stuff. You'll be familiar with it if you live in a, a hard water area. So, there is the plan to put the water softener in here. It's under the sink, which is a fairly typical place to put it. There is, however, a slight problem, and that is that it needs to go in by the stopcock uh, so that you are effectively interrupting the water supply as it enters your building. And my stopcock is not under the kitchen sink. My stopcock is, if I walk through here, go through my kitchen and go through into this room here, it is down there. That is my stopcock, which is down by this uh, toilet. And one of the possible solutions for moving the stopcock was to take the skirting board off here and to chase out the wall and then to run a pipe from just where the bathroom is, just in the side there, and then to run it all the way down here behind this fridge freezer and then to disappear under these uh, kitchen cabinets and go all the way around and then put a new stopcock in down here somewhere and then you can put the, uh, the new water softener in, which sounds like a really good idea Sounds like a good way of doing it. Uh, and that was kind of plan A. That was sort of, oh yeah, I think that would probably be the way to do it. Uh, however, there I had further thoughts. And uh, if I just show you some photos, this is uh, my driveway. And as you can see, I'm not, don't worry, I'm going off on a tangent here, but there's good reason for this. Uh, this is my driveway. And uh, you can see it's in a bit of a state and a bit of concrete path and uh, shingle. And I've been saving up for quite a long time to get this driveway uh, done out in block pavia. And that is gonna happen uh, in about three weeks from when I'm recording this. Now, if I'm gonna lay this new driveway, and this is an old pipe running from the meter into the stopcock, then that will mean that if there's ever a problem with this pipe, this old pipe, then I will, uh, in theory, have to have some excavations done of my new driveway, which isn't a very pleasing thought. So the plan is to have a new pipe run from the water meter, going all the way up the side of the building, all the way down here, down the side of this uh, extension, which um, I have built uh, when I first bought the place, and then to run outside and then to come in somewhere back here, and then the water filter sorry, the water softener will be put in place there. And uh, when also going to change the tap here, so the tap will then have uh, be a three-way tap. So we'll have soft, soft water will be a uh, hot cold, and then we'll have an extra setting on that extra tap on there for drinking water because softened water is not as nice to drink, apparently. So we can use uh, the soft water for cooking, but uh, we'll have a drinking tap on there to use for just having a glass of water or whatever. Now at the moment, I have a, in my a big fridge here, I do have water coming out of there, but that is not plumbed in. Uh, I've actually got in here, there's a, a container here with water in it, and that's actually got, well, I can't get the lid off at the moment, that's got a Brita water filter actually built inside here. But to save using the Brita, filter, I'm actually going to change and have a water filter on the bottom of, underneath the sink, on the drinking tap. So this is a kind of a before, this is how it's all set up before, and I will show you uh, how it's all uh, done when uh, the pipe man has been to dig out my big pipe down the side, and when the water softener is in position. So actually, just as a kind of comparison, so there's the, the tap at the moment, so we can do like a kind of before and after. 
Now, if I go under the sink here, there's not a lot of room under here. I don't think the water softener is going to be able to go in under here, um, but maybe the stopcock will. Uh, and then in this cupboard here, I mean, th there's nothing actually in there other than just stuff. So I'm going to have to find new homes for all of that. Um, so I, hopefully I won't need this here is dishwasher salt and I shouldn't need that at all in the dishwasher uh, once the water softener, once we've got softened water going through I just shouldn't need to use salt at all in the dishwasher um, but anyway there we are that's a kind of before and I will uh, update this video with uh, the after so watch this space it's now time for the after and this doesn't look any different although the eagle eye amongst you may have spotted the new tap here it is it's much bigger than the old one uh, which is great because it means that you can get pots and pans underneath that tap very easily and i mentioned earlier about this being a three-way tap and i can pro properly demonstrate that now so we have oh, let's try and get this around the tap so there we have a, a normal kind of hot and cold uh, tap there so that's there and but then here we have an extra one it has a third leg and that means that yeah if you turn this on coming out there is softened water if I turn this one that is hard water and of course to the naked eye it doesn't look any different but uh, that is hard water so it's for drinking water but that is filtered, as I mentioned earlier on. That actually has um, a water filter attached to it. So that's the first thing, that's that tap. Very pleased with that big tap, like the tap. So, what happened then? Well, originally, uh, the plan was to have the water filter in this cupboard, but you will see that it's not in there. That has some of the stuff that was in that cupboard. Had a bit of a sort out. And actually, I'm quite pleased. I managed to get everything that I wanted to back in there. But if I open this cupboard, you can see there actually is uh, the, the water softener. Did I say water filter a minute ago? I meant water softener for down here. I'm getting confused. I apologize. And it's a bit difficult to see, but really everything in here is, is kind of the stuff, the pipe work. Um, the stopcock is now there around the back behind all of this. Uh, if we have a look here, which I say is a bit difficult, if I have a look there, that is the water filter. And it's not very big, actually. It's not a very big thing. You can just about make it out there, I think. Um, and that has to be replaced only every six months, as I mentioned earlier on, rather than uh, the Brita that I was doing monthly. So that's quite good. That goes. That's on that drinking tap, that little drinking tap. So that's filtered water. Uh, so here is the... Oh, here's the water softener. Let's take, that's the new home for the dusters on top of it. Uh, I'll take the, take the bits off it here. So that just comes off here. The water softener has salt blocks that go in it there. These are really cheap actually, these, um, these salt blocks. They don't cost very much at all. So will it focus? It's because they're bright white. So it's having trouble focusing on it. I don't think it's my eyes. And uh, yeah, so these, this, these blocks will gradually go down, but what was interesting talking to the plumber when he was putting it in this salt is not what goes in the water to soften it which i think is, is what i thought i think a lot of people think that the salt goes in the salt goes in the water and that's what softens it it's not really this the salt is used to clean the tanks that are inside here which again i should actually be able to take there we go i can take this off i'm holding the camera so it's a bit awkward there we go take that off so uh, there we go that's the that's the sort of the mechanism there and you can see that on the left hand side there is a tank there and then there is also another tank there so this is a, a dual tank system but it's not powered it's not electric so uh, this doesn't actually cost anything to run at all and uh, what will happen is that the salt is used in order to clean the 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 tanks that are actually doing the softening of the water and I'm doing this, I'm talking about this in a very non-technical way because I don't understand the physics behind it, but effectively the, these tanks are uh, removing the hardness from the water and then that kind of gets a bit clogged up with that because that's the job that it's doing. The salt is then used to clean the tanks and then that gets washed away down uh, through your normal waste pipe. Uh, but because there's two, because it's a dual cylinder, 
um, then when one tank is being cleaned, going through the cleaning process, the other tank can actually then soften your water. So you're never without uh, softened water. Um, this does when it, it it makes a sort of noise for about 15 minutes I think when it's cleaning the tank and the plumber demonstrated that but I haven't actually heard it go off since then and um, I think really that it's it's actually quite uh, you know a quiet unit really yes it makes a bit of a noise occasionally but I mean it's not something that I've really noticed so I'm going to put that back on put these bits back and then we'll have a look at the other changes Ooh, it's the first time I've taken that off actually since the plumber came uh, so beh immediately behind here and I'm not going to move this out of the way but uh, there's a new stop cock which is right down the back corner but I can move this if I move that stuff that I've got down there then th this will actually move about and so I can get my hand to that stop cock very easily and there's also a bypass because this will has um, the, the two pipes coming in, one a sort of an in pipe if you like, going into the softener and then one coming out, but they've all got um, taps on them. So if there was ever a problem with this unit, you could actually bypass it. You can turn both of the taps off, then you've got another master tap in the middle that you can then switch on, and that then would give you a bypass it. And so if you, and for any reason, if you don't want softened water, you can actually bypass it completely and just have um, just have the hard water going in, which is a useful backup to have should you ever need it. Uh, so there we are, that is the, the water softener. Yes, it's taken that cupboard completely out of the equation, but it was always a bit rubbish, that cupboard anyway. And uh, there was a bit of uh, stuff that we didn't need anymore in this cupboard. So in actual fact, I've been able to get everything back in. So I'm really pleased about that, that's, that's wonderful. So the next thing to see really is how we get on over the coming weeks and months with this, uh, with them using the soft water. I'm hopeful, I haven't had this washing machine very long because the old one packed up, so I've got a new, this new Bosch, and it hasn't been running on the hard water for very long, so I'm hoping that um, we'll, we'll get some benefits and get some longevity out of this uh, new washing machine. Also, I did a load of washing um, last night and put less uh, washing liquid in because you're supposed to be able to reduce it by 75%. So that's good. Uh, also, dishwasher salt, don't need that anymore. You can reduce that by 100%. So I'm gonna give my dishwasher salt to my mother-in-law because um, she's still got hard water over where she lives. So um, she uses the salt in her dishwasher. So yeah, get, get rid of all that stuff. And I only have one Brita water filter left, so uh, I'll give that away as well. But there we are, uh, that is the follow-up. Um, the pipe went in really, oh, it's a thing I must show you, yes, because the new water main has gone in. Let's just pop outside and have a look because there is a change. Hang on. So the new water main has gone in and you can't see because it's all underground, it's all mould under there. Uh, but if I come down here, um, it was actually mould under the path, under here, and then it comes up. Uh, here in this box. So this box is new and that's where it comes up and then goes into the uh, into the house. So uh, that's an insulated box so it should be okay even in the winter uh, so I'm led to believe and that goes inside there so that's that's the only thing really that you can see that that's been uh, that's been added extra but um, actually it did a really good job of uh, they had to take part of the patio up but they put it back uh, done really well I'm really pleased with that. Right, this is uh, my reservoir of salt. And here they are, you can see it all packed up here. You have to store it on its side. And these actually are really heavy, these salt blocks, but then it would be, so it's uh, two times four kilos, so it's eight kilos worth of, worth of salt. And uh, yeah, it's, each one of these blocks is about 28 centimeters in length. So as soon as the salt has dropped down that level in the water softener, then I can drop one of these in on the top of uh, what's left of the one that's already in there, or the two that's already in there rather. So uh, yeah, so I've got plenty here to keep me going. It should be one block of salt per person per month, roughly, and that is very roughly. So this should last me quite a while. So the only thing I've got left to show you is changing the salt. And as you can see, I've opened the packet here and the salt blocks are, they're huge and they're four kilos each. And you put it into the water softener, just simply drop it on top of the existing salt before it runs out. So that's a bit kind of wobbly there, but I'll better hold that in with the, with the cover. I don't think that'll be a problem. 
there's on this particular model and this particular manufacturer there are these little grooves in the side and they have to go facing to the front of the water softener uh, so then you know which way round to put it. So that's now both of the solder dropped in and I can just put the cover back on and that's it. That's the only thing that you need to do to maintain the water softener which is, yeah, it's quite simple. I think even I can cope with that. And here's the final piece of the puzzle, just for the record. It's my new driveway that's been put in place. This is a few weeks after uh, the water softener was installed. Uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So there you have it. The water softener is in, the new mains pipe is in. Uh, all done before my new driveway gets uh, laid, so that's all good news because it was a bit stressful thinking it is all going to go according to plan and I needn't worry, it's all been great. Uh, I will update, perhaps do another video over time, and take, certainly take some photos and maybe write a blog about it as well to update whether uh, any of this sort of scum that you've got, scummy marks and the lime scale really is, is, is going away by itself as I've been led to believe might happen. So, but we'll see, I'll, I'll certainly update on how I'm getting on with the soft water and any improvements that I'm noticing or not noticing. I intend to be brutally honest about whether I've wasted my money or not. Uh, but if you have any questions about the whole process, please do post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. As you can tell from what I, the way I described this, I am no expert, uh, but I can certainly tell you about my experiences. There we are, thanks so much for watching. Sorry if you could see my washing out the window there, that's very professional and uh, I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.